Hey Star Family, it is officially happening again. Today we wake up to an X 5.1 solar flare from that very active region. I'm Sarah Star here with your real time space weather update for November 11th. We're entering one of the most intense solar weeks in the entire cycle and it starts right now. Yesterday we talked about that X 1.2 and that X 1.7 solar flare from that still very active region. Both of those kicked off proton level events that created a setup for what is coming right now. Today, we just had an X 5.1 flare, the sixth strongest flare of solar cycle 25. The region that produced it, region 4274, is still growing, it's still earth-facing, and it's still magnetically unstable. And even though the modeling is still coming in, we did see some coronal dimming, which means a CME did in fact lift off. That's your big indicator that we're about to see some major geomagnetic impacts. Here's what to expect. These CMEs are stacking the X 1.2, then the X 1.2. 1.7 and now this X 5.1. These are three back-to-back -back X class flares. They're likely to overtake and cannibalize the earlier ones, which means that the impact to Earth is becoming much stronger when they merge in transit. Proton levels are rising fast. We're already in an S1 radiation level. We're slipping into an S2 radiation storm. Solar winds will jump past 700 kilometers per second once these CMEs arrive. Now this graph is probably going to be updated today, but we can see today is going to start that geomagnetic activity. It's going to continue through the 12th, through the 13th, and onto the 14th, where we're going to slip into some strong to severe geomagnetic level of Today is going to mark the arrival of that X 1.7 flare followed by that X 1.2 with the major plasma bulk of it all and then followed yet again into the weekend we're going to see some really strong geomagnetic effects some beautiful auroras in those mid and high latitude positions. Make sure that you're following because there's going to be continuous updates. This is what happens when we do have those proton level storms. You can literally see them. Protons hold mass so this static that you see on our Lasco imagery is a snowstorm, meaning that the protons are so heavy so fast that you can literally see them and feel them as they come into Earth. We are expecting G3 to G4 storm potential starting today and peaking through the weekend. This is extreme level activity, power grids, satellites, GPS, auroras, your mood, sleep, tech, everything is going to react under these G3 to G4 geomagnetic pressures. And with these back-to-back X-class flares and the potential for having more on top of it is such a threat to Earth right now and the human population that they have no clue. So make sure that you are staying solar weather aware. And this is what our sun looks like today. So it is peppered with several different sunspot regions, but there is only one that is massively active, causing a lot of this disruption. And this is week two of strong geomagnetic activity, and that would be region 4274 still earth facing in the northwestern quadrant. This region is so large that you can see it with the naked eye. So this is what you will see directly on the sun, but this is the underlying effect of what is actually there in our HMI magnetogram. And if we take a deeper look into what this region is, you can see that it climbed even larger than it was yesterday. Yes, it went down in the number of sunspots because it keeps erupting, but it is increasing in size, which is a problem. It's still in beta delta and gamma configuration, so it's super magnetically complex. Proton levels is just out the roof with this. We're climbing in solar radiation storms because of the flares, and then our X-class potential is still there, still growing, still active, meaning it's not done yet. So could we see some even more geomagnetic active levels? Absolutely yeah, we could get into those severe, even extreme levels this weekend if this keeps continuously popping off because cannibal CMEs are very real. They are taking effect right now. They grow stronger. They can shut complete power grids down. With that active region still growing, we see a high flare probability of having some more X-class flares, some more M-class flares, 75% proton level at a 99%, as you can see, very high. And then we're still going into those radio blackouts when we have these high level solar flares. As you can see, we already reached into an R3, almost into an R4 radio blackout that's significant. This is all landing on the 1111 portal and of course, Mercury retrograde that started yesterday. If you have not seen my past video, 
go back, watch my past videos, my past two videos actually, because it's gonna keep you up to date with what's happening with the storm. And then it's gonna tell you all the psychological effects that you're gonna see individually and in the collective. But collectively, people are gonna feel really disoriented because we have a lot of cosmic weather that is coming in. High gamma radiation, X-ray fluxes. We have a lot of emotional spaced out, irritated type people in the world right now. Uh, and sudden awakenings may occur that they may not really wanna do, but is being pushed that way anyway. This is the pressure that pushes those breakthroughs. Stay grounded, watch your body, head pressure, ear ringing, nausea, vivid dreams, irritation, too sensitivity, totally normal with this level of solar activity. I have a full breakdown video that is pinned on my page right now if you want a deeper explanation, but stay tuned because I'm gonna be posting what the updates are going to be uh, as the new data does come in. So especially once this modeling becomes a little bit uh, conformed, we can see what the CME trajectory really is. I'm Sarah Star. This is your real time space weather update for November 11th. If you're stuck in life or you're feeling these energies a little little bit too hard, you can book a reading with me. I do starseed, natal, I do these monthly cosmic energy updates for you. They're personalized readings that dig into your personal natal chart. I will see how the solar uh, storms are going to be affecting you, how Mercury retrograde is going to have an effect on you, these portals going into 2026, 2027, depending on what you want, but we're going to hit your birth chart pretty hard so you can navigate this with a little bit more clarity and success. You could book a reading at www.sarahstarofficial.com. Follow for more.